Hi, welcome to our new school year. My name is Mrs. Martin and I teach honors anatomy and physiology and I also teach biology. A little bit about myself, I come from Texas. I grew up in the Dallas-Fort Worth area and I graduated from Texas Women's University with a degree in biology and then I got my master's degree from Georgia State in secondary science education. I love going to the beach, I love going to hikes for waterfalls and I love my family and our dog, Keely. Best ways to reach me, either through email or through Remind. Remind is a great way for the students to get in touch with me after school or before school. I do stop looking at 8 o'clock at night. My emails I don't always check at night, so it may be the next day before I get back to you on an email. Student grades are going to be uh, similar for or the same for anatomy or biology with major, minor, and practice grades. Our major grades will mainly be tests, lab practicals, or big projects, and they're 55%. Our minor grades are labs and bigger quizzes, and for anatomy, case studies. We won't do case studies in biology, and those are 30%. The, our practice is our homework or classwork, and for anatomy, it'll be mainly be smaller or quicker labs or smaller and quicker quizzes as well. We have lots of fun laboratory activities this year. We're looking forward to getting back in the lab and doing some fun stuff. We've already been in the lab a few times just in the first two weeks of school, so it's very fun this year. We have some live demonstrations just where I'll show you some stuff. We have some um, labs that are both simulations or virtual activities, and then lots of hands-on and in-person labs that we'll get to do as well. How can you be successful in, in my science class? Take notes, whether that's you know writing down as much of the words as you see on the PowerPoint, referring back to the PowerPoint later, or just listening in class and absorbing the information. Be a part of the labs, understand the labs, make sure that you're getting everything you need in the labs and asking questions in the labs. That will help you practice the material that we've been talking about in class and apply that material we've been talking about in class. I do provide study guides for both biology and honors anatomy. These are posted a week before the test on Teams and I will also have hard copies if students want those as well. Highly recommend you go through those before the test and before the day that I give for review because you may not be able to get to all of it and then you don't have enough time to ask all the questions. Um, speaking of questions, please speak up in class. That's my favorite thing is for students to ask questions. Oftentimes, I'm, I get to learn something new by their question as well. I'm happy to look up the answers if I don't know the answers. Note cards are a great study tool for both classes. They will especially come in handy for anatomy, for our medical terminology quizzes, and our practicals. They'll really help, and those can either be hard index cards or those could be an online note card program such as Quizlet. I am looking forward to a great year in science this year and excited to get back in the lab with the students and hope that we learn lots from each other and enjoy our time in science. Have a great day. Bye.